Hi, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install Impretzel vinyl flooring. First off, let the product acclimatise in the room that you're going to install it in. That way it will be stable and you can correctly gauge the expansion gap around the edge. First job is to make sure the floor is clean and dry. Always sweep the floor beforehand. Then, check that the floor is level using a straight edge. Impretzel will take out minor imperfections in the floor, no problem. To install Impretzo, you don't need expensive tools. Just a straight edge, a strong utility knife, a tape measure, then a pencil. Then you're ready to go. Knee pads are a good idea though. If you have awkward shapes to cut around, such as a toilet or a hand basin, a lining paper and a pair of scissors are ideal for making a template. Right, let's get started. Firstly, take a minute to plan how you want the finished floor to look. Traditionally, plank floors would run away from the light or from windows but also plan any awkward doorways or first cuts that you may encounter early on in the installation. The Prezzo is a two-part flooring system. There's a top panel and an underlay panel. The Prezzo fits together with lugs on the underside of the top panel, locating in slots on the underlay panel. Starting in the corner furthest away from the door, cut the first underlay panel in two. Do this by placing the top panel into the first set of lugs and then score in with the utility knife the top of the underlay panel. The underlay panel will then quite simply snap in two. Repeat this step for the next underlay panel that goes down against the wall. The narrow end of the locating lug should be falling away from you. Place the cut underlay panels against the wall with the locating tabs facing out. Remember to leave an expansion gap of around about 6mm, just as you would with any other floating floor. You can cover this gap with Scotia or seal it with silicon for a neat finish at the end. Now we connect two full-size underlay panels to the two half panels using the locating tabs. Peel back the ends of the tape on the first top panel. Next, lay the first top flooring panel by sliding one half of it at a shallow angle into the first half cut underlay panel against the wall and the other half into the full size underlay panel. The top panels firmly lock the two underlay panels together and the floor begins to hold together as a single piece. Make sure the locating lugs fit firmly into the cut out holes in the underlay panel. Push down and forward, always away from you to ensure a snug fit. Then carefully peel the protective strips from the adhesive on the bottom side of the top panel and press down firmly to create a good seal. Make sure you always stick all four sides to ensure you have a watertight joint. Fit the second panel, then start the second row with a half panel. Right, time for the finishing touches. Cut off the ends of the underlay panels to ensure you maintain the expansion gap. Then, to finish the edge, cover the expansion gap with a moulding or, in wet areas such as kitchens or bathrooms, seal the gap with silicon. Once your floor is finished, just give it a once over with a soft brush. If you want to clean it, use a mop or a soft cloth. Use a mild detergent only, or even better, this stick attack vinyl cleaner is perfect for this floor. Impretzo flooring is incredibly hard wearing. However, in the unlikely event that you need to change a panel, these are the only tools that you'll need. Now I'll show you how to do that. Starting from the centre of the damaged panel, cut through the top panel only and lever the floor up towards one end. If you've got an awkward shape to fit around, such as a toilet or pedestal, you'll need paper and a pencil to create a template. Push the paper against the toilet, mark with your finger and cut with scissors. Use this template to trace onto the planks. Score with the utility knife and bend the board back in the normal way. Use silicon for that perfect watertight finish. Our advice is to use masking tape as the top panels are grained and this helps to create the perfect straight edge. 